SHUT UP! After buying the Star Wars franchise, Disney decided to branch out from its typical science fiction watching audience to a new demographic that likes stupid reality shows. They're watching the ratings carefully and will do anything to make sure the show doesn't suck balls. Disney presents Star Wars Blind Date. Let's meet our bachelors for this week's episode. This cute little guy is Anthony Padilla. And this cute little fluffy muffin is Ian Heacox. Let's get this blind date started. So wait, my date's name is uh Beltipa Nergnum Num Trevagnum Ack. What's yours? Jenny. Why does yours sound so hot? Oh damn! Dude, I think those are our dates over there. They are so freaking space hot. You know, just because you add the word space in front of everything, it doesn't make you sound cool or futuristic, right? Uh, yeah, it space does. Space dickhole. <laughs> Ratings are good so far, but the audience wants to see some actually good-looking people quick. So, wait, 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 guys. Your felty poof, whatever the frick. And your Ginny? <laughs> Great! Felty Benorg Num Num Trevegnian Act Girl. Super hot. So I decided to uh, just man up, get over my nervousness, and give it a shot. <laughs> Space slut. <clears throat> what? Did it hurt when you fell the Tatooine from the Death Star? Because you look like a sand person to me. <laughs> Dude, they're called Tusken Raiders. Space racist. Now shut up. Shall we? Male viewership is in decline. We need something that they'll like. All right, ratings are back up again. Mm. So, Jenny, uh, what do you do to make your face look so pretty? <laughs> wow, you really have the voice of an angel. Male viewership is in decline. We need something to appeal to them. Dude, what the hell? Sorry, man, to qualify as an official Star Wars product, we're contractually obligated to have at least one lightsaber battle every three minutes. But we can't forget about our female audience either. What? Whatever. Prepare to die, bitch. What the space fuck, man? They probably should have given us some lightsaber training first. Well, you're just not a Jedi master like me. Seriously? The ratings are terrible. We need some reality TV tropes to ramp up the drama. Anthony, I have something to reveal to you. What? This baby is yours. Uh, we've never even kissed? SpaceX is dangerous, bro. We need more drama. Stop right there. You're under arrest for sending nudes to the Emperor. That's what you get for putting your dick pic on the space internet. I had a weird rash down there and I was trying to send it to my doctor. How exactly do you get those two things mixed up? My doctor's name is Send to Internet. It's an Indian name. Don't be racist. The show is sucking so much Ewok ball sack. Let's add one last huge twist. Hello, Ian and Anthony. Jenny? What happened to your ugly, broken, ratchet-ass face? That was just makeup. I'm actually a Victoria's Secret model slash billionaire, and I wanted to find a man who loves me for what's inside of me. Like your pancreas. And I was going to give one of you a million dollars and take you on a romantic honeymoon. A romantic space honeymoon. That's always been my dream! Fuck my life! <laughs> After realizing his space f**k up, Ian committed space seppuku. No, no, ah! Anthony was blamed for Ian's space death and is now on space death row. And Disney, well, they made seven billion dollars off Ian action figures. A new Star Wars Ian action figure! Come on, Ian, let's go play! Now with intense seppuku action! He murders himself so hard! Thanks, Disney Star Wars! Well, now that you're done with that, check out the Pokemon Red and Blue Honest Game Trailer! It's freaking hilarious! Just click on that video on the right! How about I trade you my Diglett for your Charizard? 
or buy two copies of the game to trade with yourself like a friendless loser. Deal. And if you want to see some bloopers in this... I was going to pogo stick on my penis and create a trail for the bear with the honey. It's Where above, are you leading the bear? It's above you. Click the video on the left. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button, do it now! You're probably wondering why I'm talking like this. Well, there's a little man that's squeezing my testicles. And it hurts real bad. Okay, Jeffrey, you can stop now. But I like it. I, I know. I, I like it too, Jeffrey, but please, stop. Fine.